everybody, today I'm doing something I have not done in a really long time. I'm doing a haul video! I realised I haven't done a haul, like a proper sit down, talk you through things I've actually bought haul in a really long time and I'm very sorry about that, I don't know how that's happened. But I have a homeware haul for you today and these are some of my favourites to watch because as you know, we moved house not too long ago, so I'm still collecting little bits here and there for our home, and so I've saved lots of it in a really big pile so that I can show you now, and then I can start distributing it into the house. Let's get started! There is quite a theme to this homeware haul. It, it didn't start this way, but it seems to have ended up quite autumnal. Autumn haul and a little bit of Halloween thrown in. It's not too early, is it? I don't think so. I mean... The first thing I want to show you is this plant pot. I I thought I saw a spider crawling up the curtain then. Ooh, it wasn't a spider, it was just a little crack in the curtain. This was from Urban Outfitters and it's a little pot and it has goggly eyes on it. It then comes in this size and then yeah, you guessed it, it then comes in this size. I have a lot of plants around this house and I have lots of like tiny little ledges in my office. So I did buy, how many of these did I buy? I think I bought, whoa, nearly dropped it. I think I bought three of these because I want to put little cactuses in so it looks like it's their hair and then just have them like scattered around my office, which I'm very excited about. So yeah, those were from Urban Outfitters. Also from Urban Outfitters, I got this gold planter which is in like a little black stand. They have some really nice planters on that website. If you are looking for something to put your plants in, definitely check out Urban Outfitters, they've got a great selection. I then picked up this, which I'm not gonna lie, I thought was gonna be at least five times the size of this. I guess this is perfect for my office and the tiny little plants, but you're not gonna fit a lot of water in this on your plant round. Uh, so yeah, when this arrived, I was a bit like, steady on, gonna be watering way too many plants with that watering can. That was also from Urban Outfitters, and again, this is from Urban Outfitters, it kind of, I mean there's a lot of mugs in this haul, jeez. This uh, kind of goes with the plant pots with the eyes on, I've just, I think I'm just a little bit obsessed with goggly eyes. I also thought this looked quite Halloween-y because it's like a little ghost. I don't know, I really liked that. That was also from Urban Outfitters. I then picked up these for my office because I have a kind of leaf print theme going on up there and these are, it says wine glass. I'm not gonna use them for wine, I'm just gonna use them for water and like juice or whatever I fancy. But I really, really liked those. So that was just a set of two and again, Urban Outfitters. Because I don't think you can have too many fairy lights, I bought some fairy lights. These ones look pretty damn cool. You can see them here. Um, they are full of like glittery bits. So it says 10 glitter ball ball lights. Um, so I think I'm gonna put these up in my office. They are by the Brooklyn Lighting Company. White LEDs on a clear braided cable. These are battery operated, which I prefer not to have only because sometimes I forget to turn them off and then I end up wasting so much battery life. Um, but they were so pretty, I couldn't, like, not get them. Like, they're so pretty. Uh, so yeah, Urban Outfitters. And then I already have one of these, but I kind of wanted this one because it was pink and black. And so what I thought I would do is put this one in my office and then put the other one that I have currently in my office somewhere else in the house because... Um, they're just really cute to put like little signs on or like positive messages or yeah Love it. Oh, I love that 90s film marathon. Which one of these is your fave? Let me know. That was just the Urban Outfitters section. Oh, hang on. Another thing from Urban Outfitters before I move on is some peach bedding It's bedding with little peaches on it and I don't know, I thought it was really cute, so I bought it. 
peaches. Moving on to bedding. Now, I don't know about you, but I do feel like sometimes when you move house, you realize what you have that you should probably throw away. And for me, that was a lot of our bedding that we had like used, reused, reused again. And it just, we ended up, we were ending up putting bedding on that we didn't even really like. So I've thrown away a load of our old bedding, which meant I had room for new bedding which is why I also bought the peach one. But I was on the Next website and they have some really nice bedding on there. So I picked up this, which I'm not sure about. And I know almost 100% Alfie is going to hate. It's fleece bedding, like actual soft fleece. I love the idea of this because I love being cozy. But I do feel like this could be sweaty hell. I sweat quite a lot in my sleep anyway, possibly TMI, a little bit gross. But I think maybe I might sweat even more if our sheets and our fitted sheet, yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, I didn't just buy the sheets in fleece, I bought the sheet in fleece. Um, I'm just, I'm gonna see what it's like. So these were from Next in a gray. I'm just very intrigued. Surely it's like getting into the coziest little cocoon. Like I am just imagining that this is gonna be the coziest bedding I've ever owned, but I don't know. It could swing both ways, so I will let you know. The other bedding I picked up was this, which is just like a really light gray um, star print and it's brushed cotton, which um, again, I love. <laughs> Alfie, not so much. Uh, thankfully, I'm the one in the relationship that actually buys the bedding, so he hasn't really got a lot of say in that. Um, unless, of course, he wants to go and buy his own bedding. But, um, and I also bought like a charcoal gray fitted sheet in brushed cotton as well. So if, all, if the fleece fails, we can fall back on this, then maybe Alfie won't hate the brushed cotton as much, you know? Also from Next, this is quite big. Oh! I bought this extremely large faux fur throw. I find it quite difficult to find throws that drape nicely over king size beds. There are some amazing ones for double beds and single beds, but once you go beyond double, like they just don't fit, they look too small, they don't work. Um, so when I saw this one and instantly fell in love, like this is like autumn in a throw and it's also big enough to sit on a king size bed so after this video I'm probably going to put it on this bed although it's not quite cold enough here yet for anyone to warrant having a thick faux fur throw on the end of the bed. Also from Next I got this doormat it says hello it's like it's like inscribed is that right embossed it's got a little embossed hello on it which I really liked that was only £10 I thought that was quite reasonable. We needed a doormat. Um, it's starting to get a bit wetter now, so dirty feet coming in through the front door. Needed a doormat. All the bits now that I've left to show you are all from HomeSense, and they are all amazing. I'm just gonna go like straight in autumn. I bought a gold speckled pumpkin. I don't feel like there's any uh, any explanation for this. You know why I bought that. It's gonna look great somewhere in the house. I also bought a orange pumpkin with little black polka dots. This is really light and it was really cheap, but I really like it and I just think, even if I just put it on this bedside table in the background or put it on the step by our front door, I just think it would look so cute. And I don't know, I, just, I really liked it. <laughs> I got two sets of lights. The first being these little pumpkin ones. Um, I think these are glass, you know. There's 10 on here, and um, they, again, are battery operated, but that's fine. And yeah, they, I just thought they were really cute. They've got really cute little like smiley faces, and they looked really nice quality, so I picked those up. I also got these. <gasps> these are little plastic skeletons that all move. Let me see if I can light them up for you. <gasps> Look! I just really liked these. Like, all their joints move. I just... I re yeah. Skeleton lights. I also picked up this little 
sign that says I put a spell on you and you can turn it on. Look, it's lit up. I'll find a place for this, for sure. Mugs and crockery, I did go a little bit crazy on, not gonna lie. At first I saw this one, this is a little mummy mug and I liked that it was like all round and it had a really big handle and it was really nice to hold. So I was like, well I have to have that one because he's really cute. Then I saw this one and I thought, that is gonna look amazing with whipped cream and flakes and all the chocolate sprinkles with a hot chocolate in it. And that is just a really cute, smiley little pumpkin in a copper one. Again, very great size and a lovely big handle. Why are Halloween mugs like bigger handled? So now I really like it. So I got him. Then I saw this one, which is by a designer called Ray Dunn, who I had never heard of before, but you will see I did pick up a few of these items and I am actually obsessed with everything I picked up of his. So the inside is orange and it is a huge mug. Like, look at the size of this. And it just says trick or treat and it has a little pumpkin on with black kind of diamonds on it. It's just lovely. It's really lovely. I love that. Then, I also picked up this one. This is also by Ray Dunn. In fact, everything I'm going to show you now is by Ray Dunn. You'll notice that the illustrations are very similar. I really liked the handle on this one. Look, it's like higher up. I don't know. Um, and it has the top of a witch's hat and it says bewitched. And inside it says have a bewitching day. Then I picked up two sets of four kind of tea plates, I guess. They're not like big enough that you would have your dinner on, but they're good enough for like little snacks. And like every Halloween, I'm planning on having like a movie night and having friends round. And I just thought these would be perfect. Perfect. So the first one says scaredy cat and it's a black cat. Then we've got the same as the mug with the hat that says bewitching. Then you've got like the top of a little pumpkin face and it says trick or treat. And then a little owl that says woo. So I got two sets of those, which was actually my mum's idea. She was like, oh, you're gonna wanna get two sets because if you have more than four people, some people won't get a plate. And I was like, oh, that's very true, mum. You're so wise. So I picked up two sets of those. And also they really didn't have that many. And I loved them too much to get home and be like, I wish I'd got another set. And I never did. So I picked them up. I also got this style of plate, which has like a little lip on it and they're oval. And I got this one that has the little witch's feet and it says hocus pocus on that one. And then the same pumpkin that was on the mug and that says trick or treat. Then I got these like snack platters and there's this one that has all the different witches feet and it says eat up witches. And this one, which I just love so much. This says bewitching, eek, scaredy cat, trick or treat, and then it just says it all the way around, and it has the hat, the pumpkin, and the cat, and then some dangly spiders. I'm all set for Halloween dining, at least. Candles wise, I did pick up a couple of candles. I picked up this one, which is epic. It's huge, and it's in this really lovely, like, battered copper um, jar, vase, jar, container. It is smoked pumpkin by a company called Gilded Forest. Oh, it smells so good. A lot of the time, I love pumpkin scents, but if they're too sweet, I don't tend to like them much because they're really sickly. Because this is smoked pumpkin, it smells like when you light a candle in a pumpkin. I'm really happy with that and I'm excited to start burning it. Another candle I picked up was this one, which is Apple Blossom Tart and Crisp by DW Home, which I'd never heard of before. Oh, I can't open it. Oh, but it's just like a very sweet apple scent and it smells divine. A few other little homey bits that I picked up from Home Scents. I got this throw because if this is not autumn in a throw, then I'm sorry, but I don't know what to tell you. It's also very soft and just, oh. So yeah, that. I also got this cushion here, down here, um, from Home Sense. Now I don't know why I did this, 
but I picked up quite a few tea towels. I just feel like you can never have enough tea towels. They get really grubby really quickly and you end up throwing them away. So I just thought, well, do you know what, sod it. It's better to have more than not enough. So I picked up these ones, which are white with little gray skeletons. I was gonna say skeletons. I've never called them skeletons in my life. Skeletons on, and they're really cute. And a little bit more like, you know, muted. If you've got a very kind of modern kitchen or you don't want too much color, it's like a nice little pop of Halloween without being too, you know, orange and black. Being very orange and black, uh, I also picked up these. Um, this this is like ridiculously soft. Like these are the sorts of tea towels that you can actually really dry things very well on. Um, so I think these ones are my favorite. So they've got the pumpkins, they've got little candy corns on them and little black stars and they're just like adorable. I wish I had a jumper like this. Um, and then as I just showed you, uh, plain orange with the little uh, Halloween pumpkin faces on. And then lastly, I bought this beautiful little autumnal wreath. Um, I don't know whether I want to hang this maybe on our kitchen door or have it this way up and put a candle in the middle. So like maybe even my um, pumpkin candle uh, in the middle of it on a table, kind of in the center. Uh, the possibilities are endless, but it's beautiful. Like, look at everything on there. You've got some pumpkins, some pine cones, some odd shaped squashes, a little acorn. Oh, I just loved it. I love that. Home scents are incredible for seasonal wreaths. So they don't just have Christmas wreaths. They have like a wreath for every occasion. Spring, autumn, Halloween, Halloween, Halloween wreath. I saw this and I was like, I don't need a Halloween wreath, but I really want one. This spider came off, so I'm gonna have to stick him on. But yeah, a Halloween wreath. I love this. Um, you can never have too many wreaths. That's my new motto. So I feel like that is everything that I wanted to share with you. Basically, uh, I'm gonna go and autumnify, is that a word, autumnify, autumn, autumn up, uh, my house now because I'm calling it, it's officially autumn, so there we go. What's that? Oh, it's my bracelet. I thought I had a bruise on my arm. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you again very, very soon. Bye!